uh, I'll be following the same format as usual. Um, so I'll I'll break down and talk through the, uh, the signal flow. I'll take out all these cable ties and try and trace things through. Uh, I'll then go off screen and transcribe the full patch and then pull everything out. Then rebuild the entire patch from scratch. Uh, try and get as close as possible to what we're what we're experiencing here. Let's let's start with the raw sound source. So what we're hearing are these two outputs from the, the final outputs, the wavefolder outputs from the CSL. Uh, and this is effectively just a, a complex algorithm, FM algorithm of a circular FM. So you can see there's FM attenuation level up on both both voices. But hold down the center button, we can see the index routing has this LED, this LED, so that indicates that the fundamentally the tetragrid is six analog oscillators that are cross-modulating each other and they're cross-modulating via these triangles the contacts on the on the grid there's a, a steel plate on the back which makes the whole thing magnetic so these magnets can be placed and moved around to make contacts Cool. Okay, let's talk about the arbor now. Because um, we basically got this complex source coming in and I would let it like sit onto a repeating pattern. I'm using this 1F fader as a means to add in reverb throws. When it's dual mono, we've got a direct diagonal where it's equal amplitude of left and right. It spreads out across the XY plane when there's when there's content uh, that's different between the two channels. So as the, the reverb algorithm is a, a stereo reverb, we get a, it opens up space. So root fifth and seventh and there might be yeah so there is some interval offset play in effect on the side and that's adding additional um, tension tones I think that covers the majority of things at least there might be something I've missed here and there. But uh, yeah, I'm going to transcribe this in detail and then uh, come back and start from an initialized system and we'll try and get back to this general sonic area. Here we go. Uh, hopefully I've taken detailed enough notes to uh, recreate this patch. And if at any point I want more immediacy to the granularization of a signal, I just reduce the depth or the level from the tie, and that will bring it back to the alpha buffer. I could then reset the capturing, and immediately I'm starting to I'm starting to uh, capture that current voice.